welcome back everyone so today in this video we will be creating the ultimate all-in-one usb boot drive that you must have in 2024 now before proceeding let me share some benefit so that you can understand that why you should create this bootable usb so with this one single flash drive you can install multiple operating system like windows linux or whichever you want to you can repair and troubleshoot many kind of problems. You can reset the forget and password of your windows. You can do many kind of data recovery and you can run even live operating system. Without any delay, let's quickly get started and see that how you have to create it. So the first thing that you have to arrange is a USB that should be at least of 16 or 32 gigabyte because the maximum storage you will have the maximum number of operating system and tool you can download in that particular USB. Okay, so once you have it, what you have to do next, you need to come to this website of Ventoy that says a new bootable USB solution. And here you have to click on download. Now, depending which operating system you're using, we are using Windows. So we will click on the first link and then click on download latest version. And very quickly, the downloading will be started as soon as the timer just complete and you can see the downloading has been started it's around 15.9 mb of size and it will be downloaded in a zip file so it won't take much time so once it get downloaded open the downloaded folder right click on the ventoy zip file choose extract all click on extract once extracted you will be getting this kind of ventoy folder double click on it and here you will find ventoy to disk.exe so you will have to make a right click on it choose run as admin click on yes and this kind of ventoy page will be coming up it's a very small page that will be in front of you now here on the very top it will automatically detect your pen drive if you have already connected if not then connect it and from the drop down choose the right usb that you want to create all in one multi bootable usb Okay, so once it's been selected from the top menu option, you have to click on options and make sure this secure boot support has been enabled. Okay, it should be checked. If not, then you have to check this option. And then finally, you have to click on install. And it says the device will be formatted and all the data will be lost. So if you have any kind of data in the pen drive in the USB, then kindly go ahead and take that data back up first because all the data will be wiped out. So finally click on yes then click on yes again and it will take few seconds to complete the process so you will have to wait and once it will be done it says congratulations when toy has been successfully installed on this device so click on ok now you can close it now if you bring up the file explorer so you will find that the name of your pen drive has been changed from kingston to the ventoy Okay, so as of now, you will not find anything over here. Now, next, what you have to do, you need to download different kind of operating system that you want to be used with the Ventoy all-in-one USB. Okay, so the first one that I would recommend you is to download the Iron Boot CD that give you tons of features, tons of tool in one single OS. Okay, it's really recommended that you should download this ISO. I will leave the link in the description. And once you come up here in the file name, you will find HBCD PID-X64.ISO. So you will have to click on it, download it. Next, you can download Windows 11, Windows 10, whichever you want to. I have already downloaded all the file. Let me show you. These are the ISO that I have already downloaded like Iron, Kali Linux, Tiny11, Ubuntu, Windows 7, 10 and 11. So for the demo here, I'm taking these four ISO. So what you will have to do once you have downloaded the ISO, you need to copy them. And then you have to come to the Ventoy drive, double click on it and paste all the files, all the ISO in this Ventoy USB. Now this may take some time depending that how many operating system you are trying to send to this Ventoy USB. So kindly wait until it's all been done. And once it will be done, we are ready to go and enjoy the Ventoy all-in-one USB. Okay guys, so finally all the ISO has been copied here in the Ventoy USB. So if I go back, 
So you can see that the space has been occupied now. So the Ventoy USB is ready and good to go now. So what you will have to do now, whenever you need to install any kind of operating system, you need to troubleshoot or you want to reset any kind of password, you want to do any kind of data recovery on the computer, then you have to connect this USB to that particular computer. So for the demo purpose, let me show you. Let me connect to another computer. So once you connect the USB, you will have to enter the BIOS mode and change the boot priority order so that you can boot with the Ventoy USB. All right. Now, in case if the secure mode option is creating a problem, then you will have to disable the secure mode on that computer from the BIOS only in case if you are not able to connect the Ventoy USB. OK, so once it's boot with the Ventoy USB, you will be getting this kind of page and whichever ISO you have pasted in this USB, everything will be displayed over here. OK, so let's say that if you want to uh, install Windows 11, so you will have to select Windows 11 from here. Then you have to hit the enter key. Then it says boot in normal mode. So you have to tap on the enter key. And now you can see that the Windows 11 setup page is up. So if you want to install Windows 11 or if you want to do any kind of troubleshooting, like you want to repair your computer, then you can do that using this Windows 11 bootable USB. Similarly, you can install and repair Windows 10 with the Windows 10. Then we have the Kali Linux live ISO that if you want to enjoy any kind of live operating system for the Kali, then you can use this ISO image. And now we have the most important tool that will be helping you in doing many kind of troubleshooting, data recovery and resetting many kind of password. OK, so if I select the iron that is on the top and hit the enter key and then boot in normal mode. OK, and finally, once it will be coming up with this kind of dashboard of iron boot CD that looks very similar to Windows 10. Now here you can do a tons of thing. OK. And let's say that if you have any kind of data and your Windows 10 or 11 has been corrupted, it's not booting up, then you can open this PC option here and you can look over the drive here. You can take the data backup. You can recover the data from here in case if this method doesn't work. Now, if you click on the start menu icon here, now I click on all programs. And here you will find all kind of important tool that is required for troubleshooting, for repair, for data recovery. So let's see a few of them. Like if you click on hard disk tool, you get many options like data recovery. And if you double click on data recovery folder, you will find many kind of software here like DMD, Recova, PhotoRack, through which you can recover the data using these tool. OK, similarly, there are many other tools that you can take the help of in order to take the data recovery. Then below, you'll find many other tools like Defrag, Diagnostic that you can use to test disk and all. Then you have the Imaging section where you get many tools like OMI, Backupper, uh, Macrium and Reflect. And then you have the Partition tool. So you can create a partition using these tools, which will be absolutely free. Again, you have the recovery here and now in the security, you get many kind of antivirus like antivirus tool. If you double click on it, you will be getting the Kaspersky, ESET Nord, McAfee and the Malwarebytes. So if you have any kind of infection or your computer has been uh, attacked by some kind of malware or virus, then you can use this bootable USB and use this tool to clean all these software to clean all kind of malware and virus. Similarly, there is a key finder option. Then in the password section, you get uh, many option, many tools like Windows login unlocker that you can use. And this will list you all kind of user ID. And if you have forgotten the password, you're not able to log in, in, then simply you can click on that particular account and then you can click on reset and the password will be resetted so that you can quickly log into your Windows computer. So these are the benefit of these uh, iron bootable USB or I can say the benefit of the Ventoy all-in-one USB tool and that's why it's recommended that everybody should have this tool to fix many kind of upcoming problem and for many other kind of purposes. So that's all guys for today. Hopefully you will find this video helpful and if yes, do not forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.